Yonkers, huh? Yonkers? Okay. Okay. All right, everyone. Welcome back to another Rocker Reacting to Rap video. Uh, this next one, by way of Stoffed Moln here for this nice little comment and write-up from the previous video. We're going to do some Tyler the Creator. Never heard of the guy before. Um, but I like the recommendation here. These are the kind of details I like to see here. The fact that he's he's controversial, his music has gone through a lot of change and growth over the years. That's cool. I like it when an artist evolves over time and changes. It's neat. And so anytime that does happen, I want to start old, beginning, see where they were. And then it's cool to see where they end up over in time, you know. So we're going to check out Yonkers. <laughs> Great name by Tyler, the creator. Uh, thank you, Stoss, for the recommendation here. And we'll just jump right into it. I have to admit, I'm already excited. You know, the guy's name is Tyler, the creator, which is interesting. Yonkers is just a cool word. And then Goblin, I assume, is the name of the album. Um, but to me, this already tells me this is going to be a different experience. This is not going to just be, you know, a standard song. And I'm, I'm excited. Let's, let's, okay, I'll shut up. <laughs> so listen. I'm a fucking walking paradox. No, I'm not. Threesomes with a fucking triceratops. A reptar. Rapping as I'm mocking deaf rock stars. Wearing synthetic wigs made of Anwar's dreadlocks. Bedwars harder Anwar. than a motherfucking Flintstone. Making crack rocks out of pussy nigga fish bones. <laughs> this nigga Jasper trying to get grown. About five, seven of his bitches in my bedroom. Swallow the cinnamon. I'ma scribble this shit and shit. While Sid is telling me that she's been getting intimate with men. Sid, shut the fuck up. Here's the number to my therapist. You tell him all your problems. He's fucking awesome with listening. So something that's going to be a challenge for me is there's so much lingo that I have no idea what it means. No idea what it means. I liked rapping as I'm mocking deaf rock. I like this rapping as I'm mocking deaf rock stars wearing synthetic wigs <laughs> made of Anwar's dreadlocks. I kind of like that line because uh, you know, I like rock. There's different, just like with rap, I'm sure there's all these genres I don't know about. But with rock, you know, you kind of have your, your classic rock that comes from the 60s and 70s. Then you get into the 80s hair metal that they talk about, hair bands. And I always thought that shit was just kind of dumb. Now, the, it's not necessarily the music was bad. I mean, there were some songs that were pretty good, but they look fucking stupid <laughs> with the hair and the makeup i never liked that that was not my thing at all so i like that and i assume you know if you kind of stick with this this theme of if it's 80s then these rock stars are deaf by now because you know they've been doing this for so long synthetic wigs i don't know who anwar is <laughs> uh anyway Let's 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 start wearing synthetic wigs made of Anwar's dreadlocks. Red rock harder than a motherfucking Flintstone. Making crack rocks out of pussy nigga fish bones. <laughs> this nigga Jasper trying to get grown about five I seven like the, of his bitches in my bed. The bass that's just kind of swallow the cinnamon. Yeah. I'm a scribble this shit. You'll learn that about me. Like telling me that she's been the getting intimate with me. Bass that's just kind of rumbles. Fuck has the number to my therapist. You tell him all your problems. He's fucking awesome with listening. The bait's pretty basic. I mean, there's not a lot going on there, but it works. You know, like a part of me wants to say, I want more complexity. I want more things coming in. I, you know, with uh, the previous video, um, Montero, Lil Nas X, when it got into the chorus and stuff, there was lots of little sound flourishes that were happening, and, and that was cool. But this is more... <clears throat> Oh, I don't know how to describe it. Uh, patient, methodical, just kind of 
Like I'm waiting for something to happen, and it's probably gonna happen, I assume. Jesus called, he said he's sick of the dances. I told him to quit bitching. It says in the fucking hotline. Poor fucking shrink. She shot already got mine, and he's not fucking working. I think I'm wasting my damn time. I'm clocking three past six and going postal. This the revenge of the dicks. That's nine cocks that cock nine. This ain't no V-Tech shit or Columbine, but after bowling, I went home for some damn adventure time. So I think I understand that reference was a bowling for Columbine or something. This previous line, or verse, I should say, Jesus called, he said he's sick of the disses. This is a pretty good. Quit bitching, this isn't a fucking hotline for a fucking shrink sheesh. And it's not fucking working. I think I'm wasting my damn time. My damn time. I'm clocking three past six and going postal. This the revenge of the dicks. That's nine cocks that cock nine. <laughs> this ain't no V-Tech shit or Columbine. But I the bowl and I went shooter. home for some damn adventure time. What you do? I slipped myself some pink zannies yeah. and danced around the house and all over print panties. My mom's gone. That fucking bra will never understand me. I'm not gay. I just want to boogie to some Marvin. What you think Marvin. I, I believe Marvin Gaye is an artist. Right, and I I don't know Marvin Gaye, but I think he kind of did like jazz ish, right? I think so. I think so. So that's an itch. I like that line because sometimes I feel that way. I listen to like really mellow stuff, really mellow stuff, and uh, sometimes you, people treat it like it's supposed to be a like a a guilty pleasure, and like no, fuck that. Music is music, and if you enjoy it, you enjoy it. That's all that matters, and. I don't know. Sometimes you get around people. It's like, no, you got to listen to hard shit all the time. No, no, I'll listen to mellow stuff too. It's fine. Anyway, sorry. Her, Wolf, Haley, robbing him. I'll crash that fucking airplane at that faggot nigga Bob is in and stab Bruno Mars in his goddamn esophagus and won't stop until the cops come in. I'm an overachiever, so how about I start a team of leaders and pick up Stevie Wonder to be the wide receiver? Green paper, gold teeth, and pregnant gold retrievers, all I want. Fuck money, diamonds, and bitches don't need them. But where the fat ones at? I got something to feed them. It's some cooking books, the black kids never wanted to read them. Snap back, green chicks, chia fucking leaves. It's been a couple months, and Tina still ain't perma fucking weave. Damn. <laughs> this is an interesting song. I kind of want more to hit. I want, I don't know. I, in, like on one hand, I guess when you're rapping, especially when you've got something to say, you want that to be the forefront of the song. You know, it's, it's the same thing with, with rock and metal. Well, most of the time. Sometimes they're just thrashing like crazy. But I guess if you have too much going on with the beat, then you can't hear what's being said. I like picking up Stevie Wonder as a wide receiver. <laughs> uh, I don't really understand the intent there, but it's a funny line. I really don't understand pregnant golden retrievers. Fuck money, diamonds, and bitches don't need them. Good for you. That's the truth right there. There's a lot more to it. all I want. <laughs> Fuck money, diamonds, and bitches don't need them. But what a fat one's that? I got something to feed them. It's some cooking books. books, books the black kids never wanted to read them. Snap back green chicks. Chia fucking leaves. It's been a couple months and Tina still ain't perma fucking weave. Damn. I, like, I still like the bass there. It's just like... It's like seething. You know, and it kind of goes with the theme of just I'm fucking frustrated and I just have this fucking throbbing headache and it won't go away. But sometimes you've got a headache that just makes you, it's almost like a propellant, like it pisses you off and that being angry fucking thrusts you forward. Haley Golf. I'm gonna have to look this song up here after this. I'm gonna do a little bit of research. Watch just that fucking plodding headache. They say success is the best. 
best revenge, so I beat this shit up with a stack of magazines. I'm in. Oh, not again. Another critic writing report. I'm stabbing any blog and faggot hipster with a pitchfork. Still suicidal, I am. I'm Wolf. Tyler put this fucking knife in my hand. I'm Wolf. Ace gon' put that fucking hole in my head. And I'm Wolf. That was me who shoved the cock in your bitch. Fuck the fame and all the hype, G. I just wanna know if my father would ever like me. But I don't give a fuck, so he's probably just like me. A motherfucking goblin. goblin. An interesting fuck song. everything. Interesting. That's what my conscience. There's a lot of, yeah, just kind of fucking rage. But it's not. <clears throat> it's not a thrashing about rage. It's a very specific like laundry list of fucking mm, things I'm so sick and tired of and it's piling up and I'm just gonna take it out sorry sorry if I keep stopping the song at the wrong time said then it bunny hopped off my shoulder now my couch is dead now the only guidance that I had is splattered on cement actions speak louder than words let me try this shit yeah so just fucking, that's it dead Huh. Interesting. Interesting song. I'm going to take a quick break here and just read about it a little bit. I came in blind, completely blind. I thought about looking it up beforehand, like a little bit of research, but I like coming in blind. Uh, it's a little bit more fun to me. All right. So it's kind of interesting reading Wikipedia. Well, I, I hate to go to Wikipedia. I don't honestly, I feel dumb for doing it but you know here you go at least it's got some quotes from him he's talking about how the song is basically a joke making fun of new york rap but i don't know anything about new york rap so i can't you know get that joke obviously i do like the you know the controversy about the the disses in the song or whatever and i i don't know how much of a big deal that is like do people really care about that i guess i guess if you're an artist you do if somebody's talking shit about you in one of their songs, you kind of take offense to it. But the Bruno Mars thing is funny, you know, about st stabbing him in the throat. He's going to have to wait in line if he wants to stab me. <laughs> uh, that's good. I don't even know who Bruno Mars is. I've heard the name. Uh, obviously don't listen to his music. Um, I literally mean they made the beat up in eight minutes. I believe that not that that's necessarily bad But I think it works for the song. I mean, I don't know my interpretation of it And this is what I love about music is somebody can listen to a song You can get a room, you know four or five people listen to a song and they all get something different from it When I listen to this song, I get just this fucking headache and I'm sick and tired of it You know just this pulsing thing that won't go away and if he's trying to make fun of a new york rap scene maybe that's what he's feeling i'm just sick and tired of this shit and then you know might as well if i'm gonna complain about them i might as well hit every single topic along the way because that's what i'm feeling interesting song so the question then is would i listen to it again and i'm trying to have this theme of not so much rate it or review it but you know is good enough to listen to again or not and I think at minimum because I paused it so many times during the video I probably will listen to it again one more time just full all the way through I apologize if I'm pausing the video too often I kind of have to stop and discuss it otherwise it's not fair use and you know all that shit with YouTube um, it kind of reminds me of so there's a band I listen to Nine Inch Nails and it's a very industrial rock a lot of you know sounds and shit like that and, and this song kind of has that vibe um just this grinding pulsating theme of frustration and uh. anyway yonkers pretty cool i kind of like it i kind of like it i don't understand all the references but it's got a cool vibe to it um yeah there you go um well, same as before, if you have a recommendation, drop it in the comments. I'll try and listen to it. And then if not, I'm, uh, the other guy was nice enough to give me like six songs to go off of. So I'll just go, to go down that list, I guess. And one last thing before I go, you know, I, I mentioned the song, would I listen to this song again or not? I, I will. 
Um, I'm hoping that as time goes on, I kind of start building this whole rap playlist I can just throw on Spotify and go through all these songs and just have something to listen to. But I do want to comment specifically on Tyler, the creator. I mean, we're talking about this song, but the artist himself, based off of this song, would I listen to more of his music? And that answer is yes. I'm curious. I'm interested to hear more of his music. Um, so if someone does not leave comments on this one here in the next couple of days, uh, the next video will be a Tyler, the creator song. I'm, ex I'm, I, I, I kind of like him. I mean, it, it's, it's, it's compelling. It's interesting. It, it pushes my brain around a little bit and, and, you know, trying to figure out what he's saying specifically. So cool song. Thank you for the recommendation and uh, y'all take care.